mining pays, uh, some of the highest wages that blue collar workers could ever hope uh, to enjoy. And also as a result of the character of our taxing system, and sometimes the character of the ownership of the, the mineral itself leads to a flow of, significant flow of revenues uh, to state and local governments. That makes it, uh, those attractive economic features makes it very easy for mining, de mine developers to present mining as an offer that's too good to be refused. It just, there's treasure to be obtained, uh, incredibly high wages to be uh, uh, earned by workers, and an easing of the burden of governing by providing government uh, with ongoing significant flow of revenues. Uh, Montana, uh, his official title is the Treasure State. Now that the treasure has partly uh, disappeared, although prosperity hasn't, uh, they now present themselves, uh, part of their brand is not the Treasure State anymore, uh, but Big Sky Country. So instead of looking at the earth and what was done to it, we're to look at the sky and the spectacular scenery uh, that it provides. The seal in the middle of Montana's flag uh, has with it, besides a plow, a pick and a shovel, and in Spanish, much to the horror of the English-only folks in Montana, uh, in Spanish, the words gold and silver. Uh, it, you know, treasure state, that's what mining is all about, is pursuing that gift of nature, uh, the treasure that's there for the taking. Uh, and you're going to see a lot of these squiggly lines. Uh, if, that, uh, uh, if that makes you dizzy or makes you think you're in an economics class, just close your eyes. Uh, I'll try and say what I think those squiggly lines tell us. Uh, 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 and, and you should get the gist without uh, trying to puzzle through what the squiggly lines are doing. This just shows average pay for all uh, wage and salary jobs uh, uh, across, uh, in this case, Michigan. And also shows, going back to 1969, and I didn't pick that arbitrarily because something horrible or better happened in 1969. That's when the federal government began collecting data at the county level uh, uh, so that we have a history of that. Uh, and then above that, uh, average pay and metal mining jobs. And I didn't end in 1990 because something spectacularly good or spectacularly bad happened. Uh, in 19, into the year 2000, the number of jobs in metal mining and the part of the gross uh, national product coming from metal mining had declined so far that the federal government ceased reporting in the most popularly used uh, data sets anyways on metal mining. Uh, instead, they uh, report on mining as a whole and oil and gas extraction, no surprise, uh, and then all other mining. So as of the year 2000, uh, it's not easy to get that data dealing with metal mining. The point is, you can see the huge difference at times. Uh, sometimes the, the pay associated with metal mining uh, is 40% above that in the average uh, uh, average job in, in Michigan. Obviously a very positive aspect uh, to make pe people and communities drool over the idea of lots of those jobs. And depending on how one looks at it, in this, in this case I'm going all the way back to 1929, looking at uh, the real payroll, so inflation has been taken out of this, and in all mineral extraction, uh, and I did cut it off in 1980 because something terrible was about to happen. Uh, uh, but now we're looking at all mineral extraction, so oil and gas is actually in here too, along with sand and gravel, coal mining, etc. Uh, but you can see the promise here too of payrolls just going, you know, from less than $200 million, uh, going up and up and up, reaching towards uh, uh, $1.6 billion. 
uh, over that lengthy period of time. Somewhat uneven, but still, you know, an incredible promise in terms of a uh, terrific amount of income being pumped into families' uh, budgets. One of the problems is some of the fluctuations in that last line uh, is, one of the problems is, I think that's right, uh, is that that promise, it's probably one of the biggest economic problems, is that promise isn't reliable. Uh, we're used to people talking about the boom and bust in mining, and we'll see the bust in the Upper Peninsula. But see, besides the boom and the bust, the bust meaning it's gone, and it, as far as we know, ain't coming back. Uh, in addition to that, there's something economists more recently have talked about as the flicker in the, the payroll over time, or the flicker in the revenues going to government over time. A flicker caused by fluctuations in international metal markets that lead uh, metal prices to fluctuate, which lead the profitability of operating parts of mines or entire mines uh, to go from being very positive to not being profitable at all. And mines, in response to that change in profitability, adjusting their labor force and production uh, in turn. 